we are back, more Far Cry Primal, and if you haven't seen the last episode, we have tamed the three great beasts. Right now I am riding the Blood Fang Sabertooth. And uh, the only thing we have left to do is to kill the Blood Tusk Mammoth, since it is not a tameable creature. Kind of cool to ride around on him and fuck shit up, but hey, we gotta kill him. So yeah, go check that video out if you want to see the uh, three tameable great beasts. <laughs> he's like, what the fuck? You have an owl? Oh, he's got four horns. Watch out, badass. You know he's real. Real serious if he's got extra horns. Alrighty, well let's go kill a blood tusk mammoth. I'm guessing he's like a elder mammoth type since he's giant. He knows his shit. We're gonna take him down and show him who's boss. That way he never forgets. Because if an elephant never forgets, then a blood tusk mammoth must never forget. Not to mention he'll be dead. So, you know, there's that. Talking to him. Get out of here, I'm trying to do a mission, man. I do need spear kills, though. All of my kills in this series have been with the bow. I don't think I'm ever going to get the achievements for, uh... Club and spear and... Throwing shard, all that kill stuff. Jesus, it's easy to track this motherfucker. It is a big... Big, big, big trail of wreckage. Excuse me. Excuse me, I can't... Can you fucking move? So again, if you haven't seen, uh... He has the taming videos. Usually when you have to find them, you have to kind of track them first. Um, they leave these little clues that you investigate until you actually find out where they've been. Holy damn! That's gruesome. Crazy. But yeah, they leave clues like that and oh my fucking god, it's a badger. I would rather fight a blood tusk mammoth than a badger. Sounds like we're getting close, so we just gotta follow this until we find the clues, and then it will lead us to him, and then we can finally take him down. It sounds like he's, like, right beside us at this point. Oh, there he is. Fuck. There he is, alright. Go get him. The Supreme Hunter of Oros. Go show him what you got. I'll light him on fire. Ah, I did shit all. Let's see, the geysers can hurt the men. Okay. I don't know how I'm supposed to lure him onto there, but... Wow, this is gonna take a while. Holy crap. Oh, he's gonna kill my... Ooh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is not good. I will throw this at you. Beware. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that. Here, have that. Okay, I gotta get him up. And then we should be good. There's a geyser right here. I wonder if I can time this properly. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he took a lot of damage from that geyser. Holy, come back. Come over near this thing, man. Oh, shit, now he's running. Okay. So again, this is something that they do once their health is depleted to about halfway, they run off to another location, and then you do some more damage, and then they run off to a uh, final location, usually their their home. Um, Bloodfang one, I didn't really get to see where he ran. It kind of sucked, but at the same time, it was a lot easier, because he kind of glitched, and he wouldn't run past my bear, and was stuck in... I uh, don't want to say inside of a hut, but kind of a little overhanging type deal. 
which was a lot easier. I have to chase them all over Oros. There's not more Udam up here. I really don't have time for that. I just want to get this done, man. Don't have much left to do in this game, and the division is coming out pretty soon, so me and uh, some of the other guys that post stuff on here, especially Gudu, we're going to be posting videos for that pretty soon, so if you're interested in that, that uh, goes. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, 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 he can come up here. What about Puck? Ah, oh, you're on fire. Shoot him in the anus. That's their weak spot. That's any animal's weak spot. Anybody's weak spot. Shoot, shoot him in the butt. Right in the butthole. Oh, if I got shot there, I'd be like, okay, hey, I'm done. I give up. You win. Come here. Holy shit, he's a beast. I dare you. Mmm, you don't want none of that. Yeah, he's running again. Okay. Go, 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 go. Don't, don't let up on him. Keep going. What are you doing? That thing. Kill that thing. Oh, piss off. Fucking who damn man. All right, this is it. Right in the butt. Lighting him on fire is my best chance right now. At least it's gonna do some overtime damage. Um, whew, other than that, I'm not sure. It's gonna take a while to get him, get him down. I don't know. Saber Tooth looks like he's kicking his ass. These headshots are doing it. Oh crap. Oh, yep, yeah, now he's angry. Come on, one more headshot. Oh, did that do it? Oh my god. This is it. Shit, 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 shit. Shit, fuck. Shit, fuck. Come on. Yes. We have done it. Fucking A killed great blood tusk mammoth. Big fucker. So what are we doing? We're just making sure that he stays down, showing him our knife. Boom, there it is. Uh, I don't think it's gonna show on here, but it popped the achievement for me. And uh, there's, yeah, there's the Blood Tusk Mammoth, so that, you know, concludes the four great beasts of Oros, and uh, dang, we got a lot of fat and a lot of fat from that guy. I guess he's pretty dang big. I jump on top of him? No. All right. Okay, so we're just back in the village here. I'm just gonna start this right here, and it looks like we can talk to Jayma again. Should give us the me uh, the quest for all the great beasts. So I'm guessing she's just gonna kind of give us some closure here. Oh, what is she leaving? I made you a hut, though. Like, what the fuck? I guess you are old. Yeah, I'm getting the vibe that she's just going to go off to die or something. Unless there's another mission. Okay, so this is just kind of her giving a little farewell. She looks like she is older and maybe she's just, you know, run her run her life and she's ready to go spend a few more a few more nights hunting and you know, that's that. Oh, Erky. Oh my god, Erky's in our village. Erky, Erky, Erky. Oh, this guy's my favorite. He is the best character in the game. He doesn't fit in at all. 
Budaquala. Budaquala. Budaquala, my friend. Budaquala. Darsh. Earthy pal who wins your wife. Earthy chat mana. Damn Shadaha. Oh, you found it. Okay. I'm allowed to stay. Thank you. Thank you so much, Erky, for finding this home for us. I am a Budaquala. I am smart man. Alright, well, I'm just gonna finish this video off with a little Blood Dragon Easter egg, but uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stare at Erky for a sec. Uh, we down here, I hope. It's kind of in the northeast, at the end of the, uh, Kind of the big river there, Hudan land. Of course in the Hudan land. There's no snow anywhere else. Just in case you want to check it out for yourself, it is an achievement. Um, I believe it's called Mark for Wenja. It's a secret achievement. And it's basically just discovering the future past is the whole description. If you don't know about Blood Dragon, I should just look it up. It is a cool little story, so hopefully we find this cool Easter egg in here somewhere. Oh, oh it's right here. Oh, that is badass. I <laughs> have the music and everything, that's cool. That retro. I wish I could go in there though, get a closer look. I love that, that purple glow. Definitely cool. Again, if you don't know about uh, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, it is a kind of an expansion, I guess you'd say, off of. Um, Far Cry 3 has nothing to do with the of original story you play as Rex Power Colt, he's the uh, main character, and it's got like a retro feel to it. It's more of like a, you know, making fun of the action films and uh, video games with that futuristic kind of, you know, feel. It's a, it's the still open world type game, and it's pretty neat. So, let me check it out if you haven't seen anything about it. I wish, again, I wish I'd get closer, but I guess we'll leave this video off here, so uh, leave a like, subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching, and uh, it's pretty neat. Like, they always add stuff like that to their games, so thanks for watching, everybody.